Hey there and welcome to your Flick trial. Thanks so much for deciding to give Flick a go. The purpose of this video is just to give you a really quick overview of what you can get out of Flick and how to use it. First of all, it's important you know why hashtags are important and they're important for two reasons. Number one, they allow you to reach more of your target audience on Instagram. And number two, well Instagram actually use them to decide what type of account you are um, and who to show your content to. So they're super important for those reasons. Now that you know that, let's look at what you can do with Flick. So the first functionality you can do with Flick is um, search for hashtags to use on your next uh, post. And to do that, you can enter um, a hashtag or a keyword right here. So let's say my post is to do with phishing. I'm gonna enter the keyword phishing right here and I'm gonna click enter. Now what you can see here is a bunch of hashtags that Flick has found uh, that are relevant to phishing and you can filter these based on whether they're just topically relevant or whether they also include the word phishing in them right here or if you want to see all of them you can just be on all over here like we are right now. You'll also notice that there's a bunch of metrics that you can use to decide which hashtags are best for you and we completely advise you to dive deep into which metrics work best for you and there's a ton of resources on our blog for you to check out. Um, that might help you uh, decide and formulate a proper strategy. But for those just getting started, what we generally say is pick hashtags that have roughly the same average likes as you do on your posts. Now, there is one exception, and that's if you're a small account, you know, with less than um, 300, 400 um, likes on your content, it's fine to stick with, um, you know, hashtags that um, are slightly bigger um, than, your, um, than your average like. Uh, count. So for us, uh, on our Flick account, uh, we get around 50 average likes per post, and we use hashtags that have anywhere from zero to 500 average likes. There's two different views that you can use Flick in. There's this table view here, which we advise if you're looking to really dig into the stats um, and analyze all of these beautiful metrics over here. But if you're looking to just understand the relation between how different hashtags are relevant to each other, um, I advise you to have a look at this graph view here. And you can bring up this action menu by double clicking. Um, and as you can see, it just really beautifully allows you to see uh, the relationship between how different hashtags are linked together. Now, what I can do here is I can actually add filters to really quickly find hashtags of a certain size or that have certain average likes. And I can do that by either clicking here or clicking here. And once you click there, you'll be brought with this um, box here. Just click add new filter. And I want my average likes to be less than, let's say, 800. And I'm just going to click apply. And what happens then is Flick then applies these filters on your existing searches. Uh, and as you can see, um, the average likes over here um, are all less than 800. And if I toggle to um, fly fishing, which we search when we were in the graph view, then the same thing happens. Now, once applied, these filters also apply to any future searches you make. If you're just getting started and you don't know what filters you should be using, that's absolutely fine. What you can do is by linking your Instagram account to Flick, um, you can actually uh, activate the suggested filters and Flick will analyze your account and give you a suggested uh, filter set that should work really well for your account. And I'm gonna do that right here. So I've clicked suggested filters, I'm gonna click apply. And as you can see, again, filters are applied and I get hashtags of the right size. Now that I have hashtags that are not only relevant, but of the right size for my account, I can go ahead and pick the most relevant ones to the actual post um, I'm making. So I'm just going to pick a few here, but when you're doing it, make sure that they are relevant to uh, the content um, you're posting. And I can do two things once they're selected. I can either copy them and paste them anywhere, or I can save them for later use. And to do that, I can create a hashtag collection. And this is the second core functionality Flick has. You can store and manage your hashtags straight from Flick. So I'm gonna click here and um, I can either add it to an existing collection, but as you can see, they're not really relevant to phishing. To create a new collection, and I'm gonna call it phishing. And I'm gonna click on create. And now the collection phishing has been created. Um, it's right here and it's got all the hashtags I selected and it will be here um, whenever I return to Flick. Really advise you to have a look at our blog. There's a ton of really useful content, um, not just talking about hashtags, but a lot about how you can up your Instagram game. First thing I advise you to do is go find those first 30 hashtags for your next post and uh, let us know if you have any questions. You can always contact us right here, clicking right here um, on the bottom right. Good luck and uh, see you soon.